I'll just get a screwdriver and do that. Once you do that, bear in mind, you have to put the whole lot together, okay? You can't just take this off and push it through the hole because it will fall off. So what you have to do is you have to take this apart, put that through there, put that back in, do the same with the other three, and then make your hole through the wall, push that in place and tighten these up. But you'll see it, um, how I do it as I work through these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the other two on these and then I'll be back in a second. You need a washer, which goes on to there. Oops, there we go. And if you can see that washer in there, another butterfly fixing in there. And that's the second one. And then another one, washer, spring um, cavity fixing, as they call them. Oh, I never get these names right, but I know what they're for. And they've all got different manufactured names as well. You know, the things I was taught as an apprentice, you look back at it now and they've changed the names. Uh, we used to call them butterfly fixings. Sorry, I'm over here. But these are now called, okay, they're called spring toddles now. We used to call them butterfly fixings before, um, but they're called spring toddles now. So that's the name you use. I got these from... Uh, I can't really say, but you can buy some really good barbecues from there, uh, as well as other things, other bits and bobs. So that is the first fitting. So as you can imagine now, that's going to be going into the wall. They will pull tight behind the plasterboard, and they'll that will hold very, very securely once in place. So I'm going to whisk through this very quickly, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, you can use a screwdriver for this. I'm just going to use a drill. The reason is it's just quicker. Uh, it's handier and uh, you know I've got a bit more control it saves banging um, some people would use a chisel or they'd use a screwdriver but I'm going to use this okay so you don't need to go to what you then do is you get another toggle fixing and this one really is just for a tester to make sure that the hole's big enough Okay, so that's great. That you hold that, you try it in there. Okay, do not, do not push it all the way through to see if it goes through, because once you push that fitting in there, you won't be able to get it out. Because, sorry, ah. the reason being, okay, you push that in to try it, you pull it out. If you let go of this when it's inside there, that happens and you won't be able to get the fitting out. So make sure that you just hold the toggle down, try it in place, make sure it fits, pull it back out again, do the same with the other rolls. Obviously, make sure there's no electrical cables nearby. Um, in this particular apartment, um, there, are, there isn't any. There are, but they're out of the way. They've obviously ran the cables in, but they've ran the cables in from the ground level upwards. There's no ceiling lights in the old apartment. There's no cables running down the walls as such, just coming up from the floor and going up. Um, we've got sockets at lower level and uh, we've got no wall lights apart from on that side, but there's no ceiling lights in the apartments. Um, if you're not sure, you can go to one of these um, DIY shops and get yourself a, an electrical tester so that you can find where the, where the cables are and you can find where they're coming down the walls. But I know there isn't any on this particular side of the building. And also you can check, they tend to run, if there was a light fitting there, the cable would probably run downwards and it would come vertically. Electricians don't put them in at an angle, uh, as far as I'm aware anyway. Um, but take it for checking, don't take on board everything I'm telling you. I'm just showing you how to use these and how to fit a wall unit. And uh, if you're not sure, consult with a, a good electrician. Um, there's one I use named Dave Lovett very very good he's based in Stoke-on-Trent and he's quite reasonable as well very conscientious uh, and that's his brackets were fixed onto the wall mm -hmm. and they went under there like that mm -hmm. and they held the wall unit on the wall so what you found was as a result with these small fittings holding it in place there was a lot of weight being transferred into the plasterboard yeah before you put it in the before you put the whole lot together but do not push it through because once you do, it'll open and you won't be able to get it back out. Okay, 
So it's just to make sure that you can get your toggle in. It's got to be a tight, snug fit. You don't want it too big. And that's the main thing. So once you've done that, you get your fitting. You put your washer on. You got me in the shot? Yeah. Have you got this in the shot? Because it looks like you're pointing over there. No. Okay, sorry. So, you put your washer on the fitting. You put your butterfly spring in, making sure that you got it the right way. And that's the first one. Yep. Do the same with the other two. Put it through there first. Okay, so that one goes through there like that. Got the chief stunt coordinator filming this one because I uh, need four hands really, which I haven't got. And if I did have four hands, I'd probably have two cans of beer in each one because it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> so over to here, another washer. Sorry about zipping around, but that's the way I do it. So I roll sometimes. Oh, and by the way, I've taken my top off. This hasn't been filmed a couple of days later. Uh, I had another top on, but it was a bit warm, so I decided to remove it so that I could uh, work doing it again. I'm supposed to be putting it through the plate. So that goes through the plate like that. And then once that goes through that plate like that, you then tighten that through there. Don't tighten it, actually. You just put it together. So you assemble all those three bits like that. That now is ready to go onto the wall. Yeah, all those three there are going to be holding that. So you insert one like that. That one's the bottom one. Fold it. Push it through. Fold, push it through. Fold. Insert. Yeah? Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. So then you push those through, pop them back a little bit because there is a bit of insulation in there. So now that is there, you make sure you pull that now to ensure that the spring toggle's opened okay, which it has done. So then what you do is you tighten that up, you get your screw gun. You could do this with a screwdriver, um, but what you'll find is you'll be there forever because you'd be there with a the screwdriver and you'd be like this mm. and you'd be there till you're 90 yeah and your wrist will probably give in and you won't be able to hold your beer so the good thing is to have a screwdriver sorry about the beer it's new year's eve is to have an electric screw gun hold the washer but don't hold it too tight because it might get a bit warm as you spin it up with your screwdriver okay if you think you're going to bruise your hands a little bit then put some gloves on and uh as you pull that you'll see that the length of the screw starts to shorten, which means that the spring toggle is now starting to secure itself to the back of the plasterboard. Tighten it up a bit more. There you go, you can hear that one's in place. Do the second one. Make sure you don't trap your fingers, okay? <laughs> That one's in place. And finally, the last one. There you go. Nice and secure now. Now it's being traveled or it's being put on the back of the plasterboard and it's being held at the back as opposed to using those fittings before where all of the weight was in the plasterboard and it could have fell off at any time. This, you would have to, um, <laughs> get two or three strong men to pull it off. Um, it is that secure. And uh, that's how you use a, just me a second again, it's called, I don't remember these names, spring toggle fittings. We used to call them butterfly fittings, but basically it's a spring toggle at the back. And that is a really way, secure way of um, fixing these wall units. So we're just gonna lift it in place. And um, I'll give you a little, I'll show you a little shot of that once it's in place. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it for now. Now it's being travelled or it's being put on the back of the plasterboard and it's being held at the back as opposed to using those fittings before where all of the weight was in the plasterboard and it could have fell off at any time. This you would have to um, <laughs> get two or three strong men to pull it off. Um, it is that secure and uh, that's how you use a, just bear with me a second again, it's called, I don't remember these names, 
spring toggle fittings. We used to call them butterfly fittings, but basically it's a spring toggle at the back and that is a really way, secure way of um, fixing these wall units. So we're just gonna lift it in place and um, I'll give you a little, I'll show you a little shot of that once it's in place. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it for now. Okay, so that is the, the, the finished unit, which is on the wall. I have to come back a little bit and uh, that's been securely fixed. It's got, it's warped a little bit because um, it's been in storage for a while, but that's now nice and plumb and um, ready for all the ornaments to go back on there without it um, falling off, which it probably may have done previously. So this is Neville Douglas. It's the 30th, oh, 31st. It's the 31st of December, 2013. Wishing you, wishing you all a fantastic and profitable new year. Bye for now.